I'll take that. So let's see how far we got. I got 100 yards out. Now I just got to trust myself to throw a nice little wedge up to the green and make a putt to save par. So let's do it. Everybody, I am at Summit Chase Golf Course and I'm about to play a quick nine holes. Um, yeah, so we got hole number one, it's a par four. Let me get some tees. Tees, ball. I'm on a par four right now. It's 415 yards straight away. What you see is what you get. So I'm gonna set you guys up and just tee it up. All right, we out. So I went with the three hybrid because I cannot hit my driver at all right now. So anything 400 and above, I like to stick with my three hybrid because that'll put me in a good position. But if it's 400 or less, I'm going four iron because I'm all over the place with my woods, my driver, my hybrids, all of those clubs right now. So anytime I can hit an iron, I like to do that. But yeah, just push it off to the right a little bit. Hopefully I'm not in too much trouble. I think I see it up on the side of the hill. Just try to put something on the green, really. Yes, I'm moving the ball. It's wet today, so I want to get a good lie. Hopefully I'm in the shot. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we are back. I went with the eight iron. I was 175 yards out. Um, just try to put something on the green. It's really wet today, so that's why I'm picking the ball up, replacing it, cleaning it, doing all that good stuff. Give me a nice little lie. I'm by myself practicing social distancing because we all know what it is. But we're not gonna speak on that, so yeah. All right, I'm at the green. It looks like, it looks like I'm on. I'm gonna take my putter. Show you. Check out the sticks, Mizuno. JPX 850s. They're for sale, but not on sale. <laughs> All right, I'm taking my putter and I'm gonna take my 60 degree. Just work on just a little chip shot if I'm off. I don't think I'm too far off. So let's see. Just missed the bunker. So yeah, here I am. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh! <laughs> Dang. All right, so I almost chipped in. That would have been for birdie. Dang. That would have been nice. I left myself not a far putt at all. You feel me? Even through one. Y'all have to realize that I am a recreational golfer. I don't get out there and play two, three, four times a week. I haven't played golf in two weeks. So when I'm making pars, I'm pretty excited, not gonna lie. I ain't gonna cap. Somebody left their towel. Anytime you find something, Anytime you find something on the golf course, pick it up and return it to the clubhouse. I know a lot of you out there be taking clubs, taking towels, taking balls. If it's not yours, return it. 
just set it right there in the back and they'll get it at the end of the round. Number two, 180, 170 from here. Yeah, probably 180. Let's see what the wind's doing. 180. Little crosswind. Uh, I'm gonna go with the... Oh! Alright, we're, we're just gonna shake that off like that ain't happening. <laughs> Man! That kinda hurt, I ain't gonna lie. You miss some, that's the thing about golf. You gotta keep your head in the game because it's a bunch of shots. Every shot is the exact same, whether it's a little putt or a long drive, they all count the same. So you just gotta keep your head in the game because you can't let one shot mess up your whole next hole. Cause that's what a lot of people do, they lose mental focus. And but if you want, I got a video that I'm gonna link right here up there somewhere where you can watch five tips to stay mentally focused. This is whether you're working at home, whether you're playing a sport, whether you're trying to study for an exam, they work and it's proven through me. <laughs> I thought my cart ran out of gas. <laughs> I took my foot, not my foot. I clicked the uh, reverse button by accident or the neutral button. And my cart just said, mm -hmm. From my ball, three hybrid, 275 yards. That's a nice little poke for a three hybrid. but it's all good. Just gonna have a nice little bunker shot. Nothing too crazy. Wow. That's embarrassing. That is just embarrassing. That's what you don't do. All right, back on this side. See if I can save bogey. Fighting for bogeys. Show you how to rake the bunker. Very light strokes. Pull back, light stroke forward, pull back. All right, do your due diligence on the golf course. Rake the bunkers so the people behind you don't get stuck in your fat chunks out the bunker. 353, slight. It looks like a slight little fade to the right, but it's really not. It's pretty much straight down the hill. As bad as that look, I guarantee is I guarantee is not in that bad of shape. I know that looked absolutely terrible. If I could put a tracker on this thing, I don't even know. This is my first golf video. Hope you're enjoying. If you are still following, if you're still watching actually this video, remember to like, 
leave a comment on anything you would like for me to do in these videos, whether it's a little tutorial or getting some different shot angles, whatever it is you guys like, I would appreciate it. Um, and subscribe. You don't have to, but I'm trying to grow my followers. So that I would really appreciate it. Slightly downhill, not too much, not too much to it. I have 118 to the middle. I have a little chip shot up. Rule, if your ball is on the cart path, you do not have to hit the ball off the cart path. This is not the pros. So you move it away from the hole, hit one club length away. One club length away from the cart path. Not that it's that serious, but a lot of, some, I guess somebody might want to know this rule, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you. Take a full length, okay? Make sure you are going in line with the hole. You go to your knee, they change the rule. You don't have to drop from up here. You drop from down here. And there you are. Could not just do that first time. It's hole number five. Flushed it. It hit the fence and came back. There it is. Uh wow. That's do it. Do it. Do it, do it, call it now. Don't be late. I didn't do it. But who cares? Who cares? Because we're having fun. We're staying positive. We're just enjoying a round of golf. No bets. Yeah, kids. Don't gamble. It's bad for you. Uh oh. All right, back to the game. Let's see. Another 60 degree and putter. That's what I stay with. I'm always off, off the green. No shot skipped around here. We're tallying up the official score. Call it what you want. I don't care. I don't care. We're having fun. All right, I'm just I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. All right, there's a there's a lesson for you, all you new golfers out there. If you uh, if you're playing with somebody else and you're already at a double bogey. If you miss that next shot for a triple bogey, pick your ball up. This is a par five, 493 yards. I need to hit driver. I'm gonna hit it. Uh, just a warning, this might go pretty bad because I'm hitting my driver absolutely terrible. Terrible. Uh, but let's see how this goes. If I hit it good, you saw it first. Honestly, it sounded like I broke my driver, but I didn't. But we're going to blame it on the driver. So we won't be bringing that out the rest of the round. So we'll just 
Alright, so I shake that way to the right. Let's see where I'm at. The, the crazy thing is, as bad as I shank that ball, it still might be alright because it's a par 5. And if it got through the trees to the other fairway, I found it. <laughs> Woo! You are getting a full round of golf right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is golf at its finest. 272 yards. I see the 150 yard marker. So if I hit this about 100 yards, that leaves me at 173, which I have about a eight or nine iron in. So I'm just gonna go for that state. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit it at that state. All right, I'm back. Uh, remember on two holes ago, when I said you could take the safe shot and punch out back to the fairway, I'm not doing it this time. I'm taking a six iron and I'm trying to absolutely lace something around those trees. Yeah. So. Oh no! I went for it and it hit off a branch and I actually ended up right at the one. 160 yards out in a nine iron. I don't know if you guys can see. All right, so it's actually playing 156 to the middle, not 165. So not only am I gonna go back and get another club, I need the pitching wedge now. Since y'all can't see, I'm gonna take you up to the green and you can watch it and you'll see it before me. All right, I'm heading. So I'm about to set you guys up. And if it's a good shot, you're gonna see it land by the hole. If it's not, then you know I didn't hit the green. All right, I'm out, I'll be back. number seven it's 405 we got a nice lovely family out here playing tennis oh yeah nice little volley going okay oh nice forehand oh point for Point for dad. <laughs> All right, we're back. That ball is absolutely ripped. <laughs> you know, I had to show out one time for the fam in the back. Say what up. Nah, the dad waved. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's nice. Get out, get some exercise. A little family tennis game. <laughs> oh, haven't played tennis since. Yeah, since freaking never. Never played tennis. Table tennis. That counts. Got 140 yards in. Downhill. I'm going with a smooth gap wedge. I don't know if you can see it, but it says G on it. That means gap wedge. That is a 52 to a 54. Um, 56, typically, I don't, yeah, 56 is a sand wedge. So SWS, if you see that on your club, that means 56. And a L is a lob wedge, so that's 60 degrees. My swing's off. I haven't got a chance to play that much because I'm always either caddying or doing something else. But it's all right. We're gonna have a nice little pitch up. 
Yeah, I missed another green from in the middle of the fairway. But hey, what can you say? I don't play often. <sighs> but if you guys enjoy watching me play, that's another thing. I will put up, I will go to the golf course and put up rounds all the time if you guys like to watch. So remember, if you're still watching this video, like it, leave a comment. I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you subscribe to me. I have content ranging from all different types of areas. So you're not just gonna get consistent golf fitting. <laughs> We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. A bug just came and smacked me in the face. I'm pretty sure you saw that. I know, I actually know you had to see that. It hit me right in the face. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. I don't post just golf content. I have all types of different content from, huh, let's see, where do we start? I was a professional baseball player, so I retired. So I work with major league athletes, doing marketing for them. I sell stuff on eBay. I am a travel barber. Uh, what else do I do? Referee basketball. Um, I'm working on doing more videography stuff. I enjoy playing golf though. So if you like to watch me play golf, tell me and I'll post more videos because honestly, this content is not for me. It's for you guys, my followers. And... I'm out of breath. Back to the golf. I don't care. This ain't about me. That's going to be real nice. Let's see if I can make a putt. Wow. Are you kidding me? Another bogey, but that's just, they just don't want to let me in today. It's like a plastic cup over the hole or something. Saran wrap. But it's all right, because we're having fun. We're on the eighth hole. We're kind of running out of daylight, so I might have to put some pep in my step. Let's do it. On to hole number eight. What do we have here? We have... Okay, number eight, 187 yards, par three. No. That's a putt and a half. If you ever wonder what one of these are, it is a divot repair. And I'm gonna show you how to repair your divot if your ball hits the green and it creates this huge crater in the green i'm gonna show you how to fix it so what you want to do is you want to come in from the back side of the divot so the ball is coming in from this way it hits the divot mark is going this way so you don't want to dig in and peel up on the grass because that tears the roots and it takes longer for the grass to uh, repair. So what you wanna do is you wanna come in from the back and just go in and turn, okay? We're going in and we're pulling up. We're pulling up, okay? Towards the, towards the middle of the divot. Go in, pull up, go in, pull up. And then if it's really deep in the front, you can go in and just push back towards the middle. Push everything back towards the middle. And you press it down. Just like that. That's how you repair a divot. A divot. Okay, uh, this is a far putt. I'm gonna put you guys down here. I'm gonna be so far away, you probably won't even be able to see me. But let's hope it, at least get it close. Cause I'll take a, I'll take a par. Too many bogeys today. I'll take a par. So right here, I'm just gonna try to get it close to the hole.
we're not gonna talk about it anymore. So that's why you have to practice. And I just wanna reiterate it again, if you didn't catch it the first time I said it, you have to practice. You can't just go out, play twice a week and think you're gonna get good, cause you're not. So we're back to number, we're not. Hey guys. Good. Okay, sorry, I was finishing up this video. No, if you good. don't mind. No, you good. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. So the uh, guys in charge of the carts came and said that it was getting dark and they wanted the carts to be returned. So instead of finishing hole number nine, I decided to bring the cart back. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment uh, if you guys want to see more rounds by Cleet. All right, take care.